What's good, y'all? Rich Sosa checking back in. And I just want to say thank y'all and a shout out to the Rich Gang family, y'all, as well as any new supporters. Thank y'all for having me a part of y'all day whenever you are watching this. We are about to have a special time together. And I just want y'all to know that I'm going to continue to drop every single build in NBA 2K21 on current as well as next gen. Today, I'm bringing y'all a video that's a little different from what I normally do. Today, I'm bringing y'all a legit, exact Kevin Durant build, y'all. Now, I'll be honest with you. To make Kevin Durant, it is literally impossible because of the fact that he looks like he's seven foot in real life. You cannot make a six foot dribbling 99 three point demigod. But I'm telling y'all right now, we do have something really close to it. Honestly, there's a couple of different adjustments that I did make, but the build came out really good. And honestly, I'm telling y'all right now that this is my second build that I'm going to be using on next gen. So before we even get into the making, y'all. Y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, y'all. To the Rich Gang family as well as any new supporters, be sure to run up those likes. Now, let's go ahead and get right into the making of this exact Kevin Durant build, y'all. Now, when it comes to the position, I'm going to change it up a little bit. He is normally seen as a small forward, sometimes even a power forward. He can even play the center if you're using him right because of his height. But we're going to be going with the power forward, y'all. Now, when it comes to the height, you could go with 6'10". Now, I'm telling y'all there's two different versions that you could make with this build. One is the 6'10 version, but it does not get as much badges as the 6'9". So the 6'10 version, what I would do is make it at 6'10". The weight is going to be 232 with a 6'10 wingspan. But when it comes to the height for the 6'9 version, of course, we're going to be going with 6'9". The weight is a little bit different. We are going to be going with 225. And when it comes to the wingspan, we're going to be going with 6'9", y'all. This right here is my exact build so far. Now, let's go ahead and get right into the stats. Now, when it comes to this, y'all need to do these exactly as I do or else you do risk changing the build name. But honestly, I'm telling y'all there is no reason to change up any of these stats because this is the best version possible that I'm giving y'all of a Kevin Durant build, y'all. Now, starting off when it comes to the finishing, go ahead and put your driving layup to a 91 and put your driving dunk to an 82. From there, we're going to go ahead and hit our post control with an 86 and bring your standing dunk up to exactly 32. And that's going to give you 12 finishing badges, y'all. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and get to the shooting. When it comes to the mid-range, we all know Kevin Durant is a very lethal shooter. So max out your mid-range at 90 and your three-point shot at an 89. From there, we know Kevin Durant has all the shooting badges, Hall of Fame, everything. So go ahead and put that free throw to a 93, giving you 20 eight shooting badges now when it comes to the playmaking first thing with your pass accuracy go ahead and put that at 91 when it comes to the ball handle go ahead and put that to 74 and when it comes to the speed with ball go ahead and put that at 71 y'all that's going to give you 24 playmaking badges now let's go ahead and get right into the next category which is going to be the defense y'all now with your interior defense we're going to go ahead and hit that with 88 Perimeter defense is going to be a 78. When it comes to your steal, go ahead and put 72 right there. And when it comes to the block, that's an 84. We're not going to be touching either of our rebounds because, again, we do want to focus on the physicals as well. So go ahead and leave it at that. That's going to give you 10 defensive batches, which is really good. And for your speed, we're going to go ahead and hit that with an 87. We're going to have a 74 acceleration. Vertical will be an 85, and we're going to have a 91 stamina. Stamina is really optional. You could change it, but honestly, if 2K patches the way things are with stamina right now, I'll just say it's not looking good for those who put a low stamina on. But when it comes to the strength, we're going to get a 91, y'all. So we look really skinny on this build. A lot of people are not going to expect us to have a 91 strength because we are compact, y'all. From here, you can put the last remaining attributes anywhere you want. But again, just don't take off any other attributes. Risk changes the build name. You don't want to do that. But I love the fact that once you max this build out and get gym rat you will have a 99 strength y'all so that's going to be really clutch especially with the post scoring that we have now you see the takeovers like i said we get the post scoring also get the rim protecting and sharp shooting y'all we're also going to be able to get the slashing but the first takeover i'm going to put on which is a kevin durant build is going to be limitless range but to be more op honestly you could go with rim protector 
Kevin Durant is known to post up as well and hit shots, so you could put on any of these post scoring badges. It really comes down to your playstyle and preference. To play like a true Kevin Durant build, you could probably put on post shot moves or post shot daggers. One of those takeovers is going to be really good. To help out on the defense, you could go with paint intimidation. That's what I'm going to go with. And as y'all can see, we have made a two way stretch playmaker comparisons of kevin durant which is exactly what we wanted i'm telling y'all the bad setup that we get for this build what this build is going to look like at 99 is honestly i can say a true kevin durant build now when it comes to the stamina at 99 we're going to have a 99 stamina when it comes to your vertical you're going to have a 93 your strength is going to be 99 your acceleration is going to go up to an 82 and your speed will be an 85 when it comes to the block that's going to be an 88 your steel will be a 76 perimeter defense in 82 and your interior defense will be a 92 when it comes to your speed with ball that'll be a 75 ball handle will be a 78 when it comes to the free throw that's going to get boosted to a 98 pretty much a 99 our three-point shot is going to be a 93 we're going to have a 94 mid-range shot post control will be a 90 our driving dunk will be up at 86 so we're going to get some of the contact dunks and when it comes to our driving layup that is going to be a 95 y'all so this build at 99 is going to be something really good honestly i can say that i'm really confident that this build is the best kevin durant build and closest comparison than i have seen at all now when it comes to the badges we have 12 28 24 and 10 let's go ahead and start off with the finishing right here the first badge i'm going to put on is going to be posterize your own gold now from here we're left with nine remaining badges we do have a couple hall of fame badges you could put on i'm going to go with heat seeker on hall of fame just so i get my takeover quicker i'm going to go with bronze lob city finisher just to get those dunking animations on alley oops and then you could go with pro touch for the last one or slithery finisher i'm going to go with slithery finisher y'all now let's go ahead and get into the next category which is going to be the defense the first badge i'm going to put on is going to be gold intimidator as well as gold clamps i'm going to go ahead and put on bronze chase down artist and gold rim protector but you could drop down your clamps and put down your rim protector on hall of fame or you could take off chase down and put on clamps on gold or even drop back down your clamps from gold to silver and then put on chase down on bronze from there it's really just to what you want to do that's just a setup that i would run just to keep all those badges on now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking so for the first badge that we're going to put on for the playmaking is going to be quick first step on gold from there we're left with a total of 21 remaining badges i'm also going to put on tight handles on gold now you could go ahead and put on handles for days as well you definitely want this badge we're going to go ahead and put it on hall of fame space creator is one that's definitely going to break ankles you could put on ankle breaker if you want to but i feel like that badge isn't necessary it just comes down to what you want to do floor general and dimer are another badges that you could really consider for this build honestly especially if you're looking to help out your teammate i'm going to go ahead and put on unpluckable on bronze from there, I'm going to go ahead and put on stop and go on gold, and I'm going to put on bailout as well. Now, we're left with five remaining badges. I ended up putting ankle breaker on. You could put on tight handles, or you could upgrade your unpluckable from bronze to silver. I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. Now, let's go ahead and get into the last category, which is the shooting, y'all. Now, like I said earlier, Kevin Durant has all the shooting badges, but obviously, we cannot do that. So, the badges that I am going to put on, though, are going to be Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter as well as Hot Shot. From there, I'm going to go with Gold Deep Threes. Now, there's going to be a couple bronze badges at least that I want to put on this build. Those are going to be Catch and Shoot, Clutch Shooter, Corner Specialist, Green Machine, Volume Shooter, Dead Eye, as well as Difficult Shots, y'all. Now, from there, we're going to be left with 10 remaining badges. You could upgrade any of these bronze badges to whatever tier you want to go with. I'm just trying to give y'all some examples. You could go with Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot or even Corner Specialist. You'll be left with a couple extra badges there. I definitely would consider Difficult Shots because I feel like that badge is going to make a huge difference in the mid-range game. Now, honestly, any of these badges are going to be the right route to go as long as you feel like that is a comfortable setup for you. Now, what I'm showing y'all on the screen is just a setup in what I feel like is going to be best for me when I'm using this build. Like I said as well, this is going to be my second build, so I'm definitely taking into consideration what badges I'm going to put on this build. But again, that's the setup I'm going to go with y'all. 12, 28, 24, and 10. If y'all watched this entire video through, thank y'all so much to the Rich Gang family as well as any new subscribers 
supporters. I just want y'all to know that I'm so thankful and grateful. And thank y'all for having me a part of y'all day. And I just want y'all to know that I love y'all and I'm going to continue to do this, y'all. But man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, y'all. To the Rich Gang family as well as any new supporters, be sure to run up those likes. Go ahead and share this video with your family and friends. And last but not least, y'all turn on post notice so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.